In this video, we will discuss subsets. Before we give a formal definition of a subset, let's illustrate the main idea with a quick example. Consider the set A, which is the set of positive integers, or the natural numbers, and B, the set of even integers. The elements of the sets A and B are being pulled from the larger set of integers. We've just restricted which integers we want in the sets A and B. So, we say that A and B are subsets of the integers. Now, let's give a more formal definition for a subset. Let A and B be sets such that every element of A is also an element of B. Then, we say that A is a subset of B, denoted like so. If a set is not a subset of another, we write a slash through the subset symbol like this. To illustrate this idea, let's consider the natural numbers. All of the sets on the left are subsets of the natural numbers, while all of the sets on the right are not subsets of the natural numbers. There are two important notes to make about the sets on the left that are subsets of the natural numbers. The first concerns the natural numbers themselves. We said that the natural numbers are a subset of the natural numbers. In fact, this is true for any set. Any set is a subset of itself. The second concerns the empty set. We said that the empty set is a subset of the natural numbers. In fact, this is true for any set. The empty set is a subset of every set. Finally, let's make a brief note about the sets on the right, which we said are not subsets of the natural numbers. Remember, for a set to be a subset of another, every element in the subset must also be in the bigger set. Each of the sets on the right contain at least one element that is not in the natural numbers, which disqualifies them as being subsets. Here are some examples for you to try on your own. Define the set A to be the set containing all elements x, such that x is a positive integer multiple of 3, and x is less than or equal to 50. Define b to be the set of all integers where 2 is a digit, and define the set c to be the set containing all elements x, such that x is even and x is negative. Determine if the following subset statements are true or false. Here are the solutions to each of these subset statements.